In life, it's so common to overdo it. <laughs> so that's why I'm so excited about this class because it's a gentle yoga routine. It's perfect for those of you that are brand new to yoga, total beginners, as well as those of you that are just ready to have kind of a break day. <laughs> It's time to feel uplifted. To begin, come to any comfortable seat. You can be cross-legged or propped up on a cushion like me. Just take a deep breath in and out. Once more, breathe in, feel the heart lift. Exhale, breathe out, feel the sits bones and the hips root down. And gently drop your left ear to your left shoulder. So you're doing the same as me. You can take the left hand and wrap it around just gently on the temple, not pressing hard. And then reach the right arm out to the side. So I'm mirroring you. You should be doing the same as me. Deep breaths in and out. For this morning, just every inhale, think of inflating the heart. So you feel your collarbones and chest lift. And every exhale, think of sending your hip bones firmly down to your cushion or floor. Wiggle the right fingertips now. And maybe make some gentle figure eight motions with the right hand. Just loosening up. Any tension in the neck. Good, take your top hand to the opposite temple. Press your head up, one breath at center, inhale. Exhale fully. And opposite way, right ear to right shoulder now. Right hand gently on the temple and extending the left arm. Breathe into any sensation you may be feeling. And figure eights with the left hand. And just finding those juicy spaces in the neck. Pause and wiggle the fingers. You did it on the first side. And then press the head back up to center. Inhale, reach both arms up. Greeting your day. Exhale, bring the hands down through prayer, heart center. Two more like that. Breathing in. Little mini back bends with the gaze. Exhale, hands draw down through prayer. Last time, breathing in, breathing out, and breathing in. This time, listen carefully. Right hand comes to the floor, so mirroring me again. Left arm up and over. Big side body stretch. So you can bend this bottom elbow. You can play with where this hand is on your sticky mat. Maybe take your gaze up underneath the shoulder, dip the chin so the back of the neck is long, and breathe into the ribs on the left side of your body. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, other way. Peek under the right shoulder. And rotate your heart towards the ceiling, really anchoring still that right sitting bone firmly on your mat or cushion. Inflate the right side of the body now with breath. Two more big breaths. And come back up. Inhale, reach the arms up. 
Exhale, take your left hand across the body and come into a twist. So do the same as me. I'm mirroring you this whole class. Every inhale, you get a little taller. Every exhale, you twist a little deeper. Pull navel to spine. Maybe gaze just towards the side wall instead of trying to gaze behind you, or you can even gaze at me. Just making sure that this twist isn't happening in the neck. It's really happening in the spine, particularly the upper back. Good inhale. Right arm across to left knee now. Doing the same as me. Sitting bones anchor. Heart buoys up from that space, get taller. On the in and on the exhale, you pull navel to spine. Little gentle rotation, really nice first thing in the morning. We'll all meet at center. If you want to stay seated here, our next move is just to hold the shins, inhale forward, lift the chest, and exhale, roll back on the sits bones. So we're taking the spine into all the major planes of movement here. So you just inhale forward, exhale, rock back, and just let the head stay neutral. So the chin stays pretty much parallel to the floor. So you can do this seated or if you want to get off your chair or off wherever you're sitting, you could also do this on all fours in cat-cow, which looks like this. Inhale, opening the chest, spreading the collarbones wide, and exhale, looking in at your navel, lengthening your tailbone to the space between your knees. So you can be in either place, just following your breath now. Maybe close the eyes, savoring these quiet, beautiful, and the sacred morning moments, just you, yourself, and movement. Good, wherever you are, finish up. We'll all meet lying down on our back. So just come to lie down on your back now. Soles of the feet on your sticky mat. Knees point towards the sky. Deep breath in and out here. Just let the body relax into the floor. And then take your left ankle across your right knee. For some of you, you may feel a stretch already just like this. In which case you want to think of moving this left thigh forward in space. Don't press it but just think of the left knee moving forward. If you don't feel a stretch, scooch that right heel in towards your body a little more. So scooch it in and in more. That's nice. And then if you still don't feel a stretch, I want you to hold behind the thigh. So this is just an option for those of you that want to go into the deepest expression. Otherwise, you can just keep the foot on the ground and enjoy. Ideally, we're feeling a stretch on this left hip. So foot on ground or holding behind the leg. Make sure this left foot stays actively flexed and that your ankle is really over the knee. So you don't want the foot kind of on the knee like this. We want it really over the knee and flexed. Relax the shoulders, the jaw, the face, the tongue, the eyes. You can choose stillness here, or if you're holding behind the thigh, you can make little circles like I'm showing here. Totally optional. Just kind of nice in the morning to get everything warmed up. Last breath. 
and then switching over to the other side. So this time the left foot will remain on the ground. This is enough for you. You're looking for a stretch in the outer right hip now. Thinking of moving the right knee away from your face. And if you want to intensify this, holding behind the thigh. Only if you can keep the head and neck and breath and shoulders relaxed as you do. Keep that right foot really flexed now. Five deep breaths. Option for little circles on the side. If you did it on the first side and you're holding behind the thigh. Good, gently let both feet come to the ground and then Bring the soles of the feet to touch, knees drop wide. Little butterfly stretch. Notice how this feels on the inner thighs, the hips, the groin. If it feels good, stay here. If it doesn't feel so good or it hurts your low back, bring the knees to touch. Take the feet as wide as your sticky mat and draw the knees together like this. So you're in Supta Baddha Konasana, that butterfly shape, or just having the knees resting in a pyramid shape towards the sky. Rest your whole body here and just envision the day ahead of you. Maybe taking this moment to thank yourself for making some time for yoga. Thank you so much for doing these gentle stretches with me. Namaste. I hope your body feels warmed up after this gentle yoga flow. If you wanna keep practicing, this is a perfect class to follow this up with. We actually start working on the hips and the IT band in a little bit deeper ways that are still really beginner friendly lying down on our back. So I'm gonna refer you to this class as a great follow up. You can do it right now after this class or it would be perfect to do tomorrow. Come back to this class again and again every time you just need something that's a little bit more low key. And I'm so proud of you for completing our practice. I'm sending you so much love. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're feeling and from my heart to yours. Namaste.